Hi, I'm John and welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be answering a question I get asked a lot. And that is how I clean my spray paint art equipment and what I use for it. So the stuff I use is nail polish remover with Ace Tone in it. It works really well for cleaning paint brushes, scrapers, palling knives and also for cleaning un and unclogging caps. So these paint brushes here have been sitting around for a few days now so they're all hard, clogged up, won't work properly, just all stuck together. So all I do with this is, I get this Ace Tone nail polish remover. I tip some into a jar or something. And then I'll place the paint brushes in. You can also put your caps in there as well. And what I'll do while I've got a bit in this jar is, it's good for scrapers as well, your paint scrapers. So all I'm going to do is just put a bit over the top. both sides so as you can see that's working pretty much straight away some of the paints coming off already so like I said you can put your caps in there give them a good clean I'll put a pally knife there I spilled some so all I do is just drop the paint brushes in there leave them for a bit a minute or two so as you can see there's some Spilt on this cardboard and the paint's already coming off the paint scrape the, the pally knife normally takes a couple of minutes for this paint this ace tones to work it's nail polish remover so as you can see there the color has already gone black can see there so just by rubbing it in there this pally knife's almost clean just rub it on there I'd advise using gloves if you're going to use anything like this to clean them so as you can see there, the end of our pally knife's clean, just by rubbing it slightly in there. We'll go on to here. As you can see, just give it a bit of a rub. The paint's coming off there. This may take a bit longer. You can see in the bowl there, it's coming off. So as you can see now, the paint brushes almost got all the paint off so I'll just give it a wipe with this towel really good stuff this Ace Tone this is nail polish remover with Ace Tone in it so as you can see that's been in there for about two minutes and the brush is back to normal now so it works really well for cleaning paint brushes, your scrapers, caps, anything like that. So you can give them a wipe and if they're still not all off, just put them back in. See that one's clean now. See, it's working like paintbrush should. So 
pull the rest of these paint brushes out. Give them a wiping as you can see. They're all good to use. This one might need another soak in. But these these four are alright. Couple of minutes in this acetone works great. So as for the caps, what I'll do is I'll just tip the rest here into here now. So as you can see there, all the black has come off them paint brushes. And these caps clean well as well. So what I normally do is, because I haven't got much of this acetone left, is once I've done the caps like this, and they've been in the bath and soaked a bit of this acetone, then I'll put in some clean acetone just to give them a final clean. But these are unblocked now. These caps were blocked. So... working again now these caps so it does work well for unblocking caps as well let's give these a bit of a clean now I'll move back to this scraper so it's had a bit of ace tone on it there, you can see a bit of build up of paint and the paint's coming off. So I'll just get this towel, just wipe a bit of it off. As you can see it's started to work already. So this paint was pretty thick, not cleaned this for a few months. So I'll just give it a rub. As you can see it's started to come off. That's basically it. See if you be rubbing my hand now on it, mixing it up. Because it's pretty thick there, it needs a longer soak. But this is the stuff I use to clean the equipment with when it needs cleaning, especially paint brushes. Just need a couple of minutes in there and they're clean. So as you can see there, all the paint there. Let's just give this one more final wipe, just to show you. So as you can see there, it's pretty much most of the paint, so I've just this thick stuff in the middle now. So what I'll do is I'll just put it back in here for a minute. I'll leave this for a couple of minutes now, just to soak. In fact, what you could use is, to clean these, you could get another scrape. So we'll go to sponge, I'll just sponge a bit more of this in there, give it a nice rub. So it's working away in there. Get some more on this side. Soften the paint up. And then what you could do is, if you've got like a craft knife or another scraper, scrape most of this off. As you can see it's pretty thick so it's got to penetrate a few layers. And you can just keep doing this. Or if you've got enough acetone you can just put it in full pot.
has pretty much softened it up there so I could scrape that side. So I'll just give it one more wipe this side with the ace tone nail polish remover. So as you can see there now, pretty much all the paint's off, it's just a bit on the edges here and there. So you just go back over it until it's clean. So that's one side, this side's going to take a bit longer to do because it's a lot thicker paint about 20, 30, 40 layers of paint on there not quite sure but as you can see that side's clean so I'll put that there and I'll just give that one a clean get the paint off and just scrape So these paint brushes are good now, good to go. And that. So what you could do with all this is leave them to soak, put more ace tone in or something, let them soak a bit more, clean more of the paint off and that. But this is just a quick demonstration of how I clean my paint brushes, my scrapers, pally knife, caps if I want to clean them, unclog them. I hope you found the information in this video helpful and it answers your question how I clean my spray paint art equipment. And if so, give a video a like and a share. And if you're a new visitor to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and bell notification so you don't miss out on future videos. It'd be very much appreciated. And once again, thank you for stopping by and watching. I hope to see you all in the next spray paint art video. Have a great day. Take care and bye for now.